Hi guys, today is Saturday, August 10th, 2019. It's been a while since uh, I made a vid. It's end of January was when I did it. My gardening season picked up, so I've been really, really busy, which is good news. Haven't had a lot of time to do much else, which is bad news. But um, I haven't had a lot of time to crochet, either no time or no energy. But I thought, well, you know, I just want to put something up. You know, so people say, you know, where are you? <laughs> I'm here. I'm over here. Um, let's see. Uh, what, 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 the crochet. I'm going to go right straight to the crochet. Uh, I've been doing, after the Christmas display, which I really, really loved doing, I started doing a monthly uh, themed. So, um, uh, let's see. Uh, Christmas was, uh, December into January was Christmas. And February was... Valentine's Day. I gotta pull it back here so you can see my my Valentine wreath. And then oh almost fell over. March was St. Patrick's Day. And I'm, I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff out here on the floor. All the different stuff. Let's see if I can get him up. Okay, it was a, a bunny with a carrot. And these are all hanging in the window and then Easter eggs. Lots and lots of Easter eggs. Okay, and let's see. Then, then May was uh, May flowers. So all kinds of pretty, pretty flowers hanging in the window all different colors anyway lot, lots and lots of those this one this one turned out pretty cool it looks like a pansy yellow and purple I don't know if it's going to show up in the thing but anyway that was May uh, May flowers and then okay June was pride and I had this one hanging like this so it looked like a rainbow and then the rest of the window was full of um, pom-poms that were made two colors and so I made all of those and those were all hanging in the window and then uh, July was uh, patriotic stars all hanging banner-like and there's lots more of them because there were several strings of them so there was that and then supposed to be August <laughs> we're already into August and that display isn't up yet because I'm still working on it um, but anyway it's going to be a under the ocean theme and it's fish and that, I've got to starch them because they're they're kind of floppy right now. They're not they they won't hang right, you know. So I gotta anyway. So I've been doing that, and all of the um, fish are made up of um, you do the body, you do the body first, and then you do the the head, and then add start adding a tail, and then you do the fins, and then you do the stripes, do the Fin and the eyes and all that gets stitched together all in these various pieces so we got all different colors of fish and that and I'm going to starch those and uh, so they'll be stiffer so I'm doing that and then I have started on even though the fish in August isn't done I've started on September and uh, this is going to be various mandelas and I've only got that one's done and this one's this one's in progress and it's gonna get lots lots bigger but 
I'm working on that right now. So that's that's my crochet work right now. So I'm continuing to do that. I just kind of got behind. <laughs> when I got home, when I I'm working upwards of six days a week, and when I get home, I just I'm just tired. Um, I I just want to rest. Either my hands are sore and tired from pulling weeds and pruning, or I'm just tired. I just just really can't think much. I just want to have a cup of coffee, put my feet up, and and chill. A lot of times, I get home, take a shower, get in my pajamas, have a cup of coffee, and literally fall asleep in the chair and just go straight to bed. No dinner. Just, you know, sleep. I'm sleeping upwards of 12 hours a night. <laughs> but it's working, you know, and, and uh, so... I got off today, today's Saturday, and I got off because it's raining. And I won't work in the rain, I won't work in high wind. And so I, I had a big day planned. I had a four hour job of weeding and pruning, and then I had another maybe three hour of um, bringing and delivering spreading bark. And so I ended up getting Saturday off, and then I usually take Sundays off for sure. So I can get all my housework and shopping and all that done and just have time to chill out. So anyway, got the day off. Um, I last When I went to see my doctor, end of April, it had been, let's see, five years since my last surgery. Boy, that went fast. Um, and seven years since my first surgery. Yeah of the chest surgery. So when I was there and, and everything looked good and took the pictures and all that and I said something about the one thing I really um, miss or you know regret or whatever you want to call it is, is this. <laughs> you know, I want my hair back. <laughs> um, and he said oh I can I can fix that. And I thought what? And he says, yeah, yeah, I, I've got a medication that will, it brings the hair back. I says, you're kidding. I says, why didn't you tell me? And he says, you didn't ask. And I went, <laughs> I says, first thing, okay, what are the side effects? You know, it, is it worth, is it worth getting some hair back versus whatever you, you read these or listen to these side effects on TV they go on and on and they, at the end it says may cause death and you go uh, maybe I'll go with I call this my runway uh, landing pad I call it my landing pad now um, so anyway I says what are the side effects he says well trans men don't have to worry about it and I says what are they he says it's erectile dysfunction <laughs> and lack of sex drive. I says, get me the drug. <laughs> Give me the drug. The other question was, how much does it cost? You know, there again. He says it's it's very inexpensive. And with Medicare, it was five dollars and something for ten months. Yeah, guys. And what it is, and I did a lot of research on it because I because I thought, well, you know, and yeah, it works. And it's called finasteride, F-I-N-A-S-T-E-R-I-D-E. -E. Finasteride, it's a tablet. And you take, uh, you take a hundred and, oh, what is it? 50 milligrams, blah, blah, blah. You take a one and a half milligrams every two days, you know. So um, I started that, and that was the end of April, so it's been three and a half months. And he took pictures at first. I mean, he's got a great camera, and he's taking the pictures, and, you know, I can see all the, all that stuff up there. And uh, so I tried taking some pictures myself, but they're not that great. But um, anyway, I was working with a lady that I do four hours, four to five hours with 
every week we work side by side. And I, I was mentioning the, the finasteride, and she says, well, you know what? She says, I was thinking you had more hair now. And I thought, oh, come on. She says, no, no. She says, you didn't ask me if you had more hair. She says, I just saw it. I says, you're kidding. Of course, I'm living with it every single day, so I don't see the changes. That's why pictures are good. So, and it, it if you go online and check it out, finasteride, F-I-N-A, S T E R I D E, um, and I'm, yeah, um, and and talk about uh, read the reviews, read the threads where the guys are talking about it, and there's other drugs that sometimes they do a combination of things, but just the finasteride alone works. Um, it works faster for some guys than others. Some guys see more hair growth than others. Um, what I would like is when mine was just like right about here and, you know, not a lot, but just kind of a, a little bit more. I liked it that way. I thought it looked more manly, whatever. And um, so if I could get back to that point where just a little bit more thickness right in there, I'd be happy. So. Um, but the worst case scenario, it won't happen because it, it's $5 and something for 10 months. <laughs> anyway, that's happening. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, okay, ba ba ba. Oh, um, July 1st was seven months since I made the decision to transition. So that means October 1st will be seven years since I took my first shot. So time's passing and um, I feel good, I look good. Um, I, oh, I, <laughs> I ran into someone at the grocery store that hadn't, she had seen me, the couple, they had known me for years and a couple decades. And um, right, right when I started the transition was the last time I saw them. And I ran into them at the grocery store and they were standing there and I just walked up to them and I just, you know. And the, the wife looked at me and looked at me and she's just, you know, and it's like, I can see her mind going, who is this guy and why is he smiling at me? Why is he just looking at me? And all at once her husband leaned down and he says, that's Dane. And she went, <laughs> and I went, and I smiled bigger. Dane, you're, you're, I says, I'm a man, aren't I? And she says, yes. <laughs> so, that was pretty cool. Um, and I've shared it with a few more people. I'm hesitant to broadcast it anymore. In other words, I don't go out to the world and say, hi, I'm transgender. Um, I like people to get to know me first, uh, know me as a person in general, my personality, my character, who I am, before I say something. I just, I don't, I want to leave that little piece of information out. Um, I just, you know, in a way, I want to be undisclosed or stealth, as they call it. Just, just see me as a man. Don't see me as a used to be a woman or you know any of that stuff um, so um, but I have customers that I work very closely with and I develop friendships with and I've been getting a lot of new customers and who hadn't known me prior to the transition or didn't know me that I was transgender and so as we got to know each other more and we're sharing more and more information with each other. Um, some of the ladies, like one I work four to five hours with shoulder to shoulder on her yard and another lady two hours a week. You, you know, you're starting to share things about your life and um, there's things that I was having to hide in order to not disclose my gender change. 
are disclose my attraction to men um, because of the, the gender change thing, you know. Going from a heterosexual female to a homosexual male, you know. Anyway, I get off track. And so I decided I didn't like lying or I didn't like withholding information because it's awkward. I talk, people that don't know me, I talk about my ex-husband as my spouse. I never mention his name. I never mention a husband. I never say the pronouns, he and him. It's everything else, sub, substituted everything else is spouse. My spouse, my spouse this, my spouse that. And I have to keep this wall up of, and it's painful. It's it's really hard to keep it dis, uh, disclosed or it closed, whatever. Um, so you want to, and, and there's things that have happened in my life. I've had some really, really great things happen to me in my life as a female. I, I accomplished a lot of what they call first. I was the first girl, the first female, and a lot of different things. And if I mention those things, it gives away my gender. It gives away that something has happened. So I want to be able to share completely with people's and, and, people's <laughs> and drop those walls so it, it takes the stress out. So I, I approached the first lady in terms of we're talking and working and I said, you know, I, I'd like to mention something to you. And so that's where I kind of tiptoed into gently into I'm transgender and she just got really excited and she says her husband, who is a psychologist, that is like his main focus of interest. That's what he likes to study. That has become, he's 73, and that's what he really is into in terms of studying and, and all of that. And I was just thrilled. She says he's, just, he's gonna be excited to know this, that he's, he's got a guy right here that's transgender, someone he can talk to and, and pick his brain. and. I says, great, because I like to talk about it. Um, so that went really well. And then I could share things with her and be totally open, and it, the relationship got even stronger, deeper, whatever. So, um, so the next lady, I thought, okay, that went well. <laughs> so I tiptoed into it again, and it didn't turn out very well. Um, I mentioned, you know, transgender and she looked at me she says why do you think why did you think you needed to tell me that I thought oh 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 <clears throat> uh, didn't go well and so I really didn't say I don't really remember what was said much after that except there wasn't anything said it was like over no more okay so I didn't bring it up again, but I thought, okay, now she knows. So now I don't have to hide. The ball is in her court. If she doesn't like it, I don't have to worry anymore because I don't have to hide. And so I kind of stayed. What I did was I, would, I could mention things in my life now that gave away the transition, the gender change. I could do all that now. And I didn't have to put anything in her face in terms of trying to convert her or, you know, any of that. I could just mention things like, uh, I was the first uh, girl to win such and such. I was the first female to do such and such, or this happened, or I could talk about my husband. Uh, various things like that. So that freed me up that way. And she has no problem with that now. And I'm not lecturing her or trying to, you know, any of that. So so now she's getting to see me. She already knew me as a man, and she was comfortable with that. And when I told her, she says, I thought you were a man. I mean, I really, th I mean, you know, I says, yeah, I am. So that worked out well, finally. And it's it's cool now. So then the third lady, I thought, oh, 
food. <laughs> you know, is it going to be a half and half? Is it going to work? Or is it not? So I, there again, I gently stepped into it, and she says, well, you know, I kind of figured something was going on. I says, you did? She says, yeah. She says, um, you, she, she became a Facebook friend. And she says, I could tell by the stuff on your site that there was something. And she says, and plus, you had talked about being married. She says, but I've, on my dashboard, I've got these little rubber duckies. And two of them I got at the, the pride parades. And they're little yellow duckies, and they've got little rainbows over their back. And I've got the little rainbow duckies together. And at one point, she had walked up and looked at you know, looked in the dashboard, and she said, oh, I like your ducks. <laughs> and I've had people say that before, and it was, it was like an indication, it was like a sign that, got it, <laughs> rainbow, got it. So um, that was just, that was fantastic. Then we just, and she's probably my absolute favorite, favorite person to chat with and be friends with, and so it just kind of, from there, it was really, um, uh, the stress went away and it was just really exciting and happy to be able to talk about any and everything. So that worked out well. So that's what's been going on. Um, I guess that's all I've got to talk about. Uh, like I said, I just haven't been, I haven't made a video in a while. I just uh, haven't felt like it. And I just kind of wanted to share what was going on. And uh, the last chest surgery, the uh, last checkup was good. Was really He was really happy with it. And so all is good right now. So um, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>